Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, advanced students, welcome back. Yes, and welcome to class 40. The big four zero. That's right, 40. Already, I can't believe the show turns 40 today. Yes. Well, I'm still getting used to this show. Believe it or not, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting accustomed to recording it. I'm still getting used to it. I'm almost completely used to it. Accustomed to it. But I'm still getting used to it because hosting a show like this takes some getting used to. It requires some time to get used to it. But don't worry, I'll get used to it eventually. I'm getting used to it. Are you getting used to listening to this show? Are you getting used to finding time to listen? Are you getting used to the course? Are you getting used to? Are you becoming accustomed to? Are you getting used to watching the television every day, watching the appropriate segment for you every day? Have you found the time that the show is on with your level? Are you used to watching it or are you still getting used to it? Are you adjusting your schedule so that you have time to see the program? Or are you still getting used to it? Are you, are you used to listening to this radio show every day? Or are you still getting used to it? Or maybe you're not getting used to it at all. Maybe, you're just, maybe you've just casually, randomly found this show. Hopefully you listen to it every day. Hopefully you get used to listening to this show every day. You get accustomed to and you develop the habit of listening to this show every day, to tuning it in and to listening and to sitting down and listening to your appropriate segment, the advanced portion of the show, every day. Hopefully you're getting used to that. If you get used to it and you get used to watching the TV show and you get used to studying with your student guide and you get used to answering the questions out loud and you get used to reading out loud at home, if you can get used to all those things and you get in the habit of doing them regularly, then you won't have any problem doing it for a long period of time and you will, get, you will make tremendous progress with your English. You will, you will make tremendous progress with your English. I can promise you. As long as you make the effort and you get used to making the effort, you have to get accustomed to it. You have to become accustomed to it. Acostumbrarse. To get used to. You have to get used to doing it. You have to get used to making the effort. Now, are you used to this structure? Are you used to practicing it? Are you used to hearing it? Because I've just said used to probably 50 times in the last 2 minutes and 24 seconds. So hopefully, or sorry, 3 minutes and 24 seconds. Hopefully, um, you are used to the structure by now. But if you're not, this is yesterday's structure. This is a review. You should be used to this by now. If you've seen it on TV and you've heard the class yesterday and you've been studying in your student guide at home, you should be used to this structure by now. But if you're not, let's try a little translation. It's time to test you. You can test yourself with a little bit of translation. Are you ready? I'm going to give you, oh, I don't know, maybe five, maybe ten. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how, how we're feeling here. Uh, a few sentences of translation. Are you ready? Let's go. Translation. Okay, translation. Translate the following into English. Ya te acostumbrarás. You'll get used to it. With the contraction always, you will. You'll. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. Okay. The second one. Pues más vale que te acostumbres a ello. Pues más vale, pues más vale que te acostumbres a ello. Well, you'd better get used to it. 
Well, you'd better get used to it. No estoy acostumbrado a mi cama nueva. I'm not used to my new bed. Ahora tendré que acostumbrarme a esta. Now, I'll have to get used to this one. Yes, I'll have to get used to this one. Tendré que acostumbrarme a una nueva dieta. I'll have to get used to a new diet. That's right. I'll have to get used to a new diet. I will have to with the contraction. I'll. I'll have to get used to a new diet. Supongo que me tendré que acostumbrar. I guess I'll have to get used to it. Tendré que acostumbrarme a vivir en la cárcel. Uf, qué fuerte, ¿no? Tendré que acostumbrarme a vivir en la cárcel. I'll have to get used to living in prison. En la cárcel, in prison. No puedo acostumbrarme a esta humedad. That's why I don't live in Alicante. No puedo acostumbrarme a esta humedad. I can't get used to this humidity. I can't get used to this humidity. Se están acostumbrando el uno a la otra. They're getting used to each other. They're getting used to each other. Yes. They're getting used to each other. Good. All right. So, to get used to is to become accustomed to. And to be used to is to be, well, accustomed to. But we use the word used instead of accustomed much more often. We say used to. Be careful with the pronunciation. Used to. Used to. Used to. We use used to probably ten times more, more than we use accustomed to. Okay? Used to. To get used to. To be used to. So to get used to is the temporary transition period of becoming accustomed to something. Once you get used to it, you are used to it. It took me three weeks to get used to my new mobile phone. It took me three weeks to get used to using my new mobile phone. It took me three weeks to get used to calling with it and receiving calls with it and sending text messages with it. But now I'm used to it. I'm used to it. I don't need to get used to it anymore because I'm already used to it. Okay? <laughs> Expression of the day. Oh, yes, folks, it is time now for the expression of the day. Yes, the expression of the day today is like a hawk. Like a hawk. You know the hawk, the bird. A hawk. It's like a falcon. A hawk. Like a hawk. But this is we, or we like a hawk or, or we often say to watch someone like a hawk, which is essentially... To, to watch someone very carefully. He was watching me like a hawk. I went into the store and the shopkeeper was watching me like a hawk. He must have thought I, wa I was going to steal something because he was watching me like a hawk. He wouldn't stop looking at me. He was staring at me. He was watching me like a hawk in the store. Incredible. He wouldn't take his eyes off me. To watch me like a hawk. Mm -hmm. Yes, to watch someone like a hawk means to carefully watch them. And uh, you're watching their movements, right? Sometimes football players, uh, a defensive player, will have to follow a very skilled offensive player and watch them like a hawk. The coach will say, okay, watch Ronaldo like a hawk. Whatever he does, you follow him. You watch him closely and make sure he doesn't get any offensive opportunities. Watch him like a hawk. Monitor him carefully, okay? To watch someone like a hawk. H-A-W-K. Hawk. To watch someone like a hawk. And that's our expression of the day today. All right. Unless you disagree, I would like to move on. I'm going to move on unless you disagree.
I'm going to change the subject unless you want me to keep talking about that expression. Unless you want me to keep talking about that expression, I'm going to move on. Unless you think you need more practice with the expression, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on unless you think you need more practice with the expression. Unless you you have already mastered the word unless, I'm going to talk about it. We're going to spend a few minutes practicing it unless I change my mind. Unless. Unless. Okay. Unless. Yes. So, unless. A no ser que. In English. A no ser. In Spanish, you say a no ser que. The plant will grow if you water it every day. So, logically, you could change it to the negative and say, listen, Kyle, it won't grow unless you water it every day. Okay, that's the drill. Let's try this. En voz alta. Out loud. Be sure to answer the questions. Respond out loud. Always. He will play well if he trains hard. So, he won't play well unless he trains hard. You'll learn English if you study hard. You won't learn English unless you study hard. Very good. You'll learn if you listen to the teachers. You won't learn unless you listen to the teachers. You'll learn if you repeat out loud. You won't learn unless you repeat out loud. You'll learn if you make enough effort. You won't learn unless you make enough effort. En voz alta. Come on. You're sitting in the car. Don't worry about being ridiculous. It doesn't matter what the people in traffic think. Answer out loud, okay? En voz alta. Siempre. Okay. It will work if it's plugged in. Si está enchufado. If it's plugged in. It will work if it's plugged in. So if it's not plugged in, what? Well, obviously, Kyle, it won't work unless it's plugged in. It won't work unless it's plugged in. The car will go if there's gas in the tank. The car won't go unless there's gas in the tank. Gas, the very North American way of saying petroleum, gasoline, or simply gas. It won't go unless there's gas in the tank. We say, we've got to stop for gas. Petrol, the the British people would say. Gasoline, but we always say gas. Even if it's diesel. We don't say, I, we need to stop for diesel. No, no, no. We, we need to stop for gas. Mm. You'll hear it if you turn up the volume. You won't hear it unless you turn up the volume. Good. You'll be warm enough if you turn up the heat. You won't be warm enough unless you turn up the heat. You'll improve if you practice. You won't improve unless you practice. They'll pay you if you work. They won't pay you unless you work. This is true. I've noticed this. They won't pay you unless you work. You have to work. They won't pay you unless you work. I've been trying to find a way to get paid without working, but I haven't found one yet. If you know a way, please let me know, because I've noticed that they won't pay me unless I work. They won't pay me unless I work. Okay. Vocabulary of the day. Oh, yeah, it is time. You're right. It's time for the vocabulary of the day. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? How do you say chapucero? Chapucero. Sloppy. That's right, sloppy. Now, not a uh, sloppy. Yes or no? I hate that. It bothers me when I hear people say uh before an S. No, no, no. Sloppy. It starts with the mouth. It does not start in the vocal cords. There's no action in the vocal cords. Sloppy. Sloppy. Retirar. Right. To withdraw. To withdraw. Good. No me extraña que... No wonder. No wonder. No wonder he moved. He couldn't stand the cold weather. No wonder. No me extraña que. No wonder. No wonder. Good expression. That's a great expression, isn't it? No wonder. Elaborar. 
confeccionar. Ooh, I like this one as well. To draw up. To draw, like dibujar. Draw up. So we draw up plans. We typically draw up formal plans. Architects will draw up blueprints or formal documents. Lawyers will draw up a contract. Elaborar un contrato. To draw up a contract. Okay? So you're preparing formal documents. We draw up blueprints for a building, the design. We draw up a contract. We draw up an official proposal. So it's used for official documents or formal uh, formal documents, we can say. To draw up. That's a good one. Don't forget that. To draw up. Did you draw up a contract yesterday? Yes, I drew up a contract yesterday. Did you draw up the plans? Yes, I drew up the plans. Very good. Fiscon. Cotilla. Nosy. Nosy. He's very nosy. He's always trying to find out things that aren't his business because he's so nosy. He's very, very nosy. Nosy. Like Narif knows. Nosy. He's putting his nose, like he's putting his face. He's putting his nose. He's trying to get into things that aren't his business. He's nosy. Right? He's nosy. N-O-S-Y. Nosy. Cotilla. Okay. Very good. Now, finally, before we go, we have about one minute to fall out with someone. To fall out with someone. Pelearse con alguien. Phrasal verb. To fall out. Ask me if I fell out with my brother last month. Kyle, did you fall out with your brother last month? No, I didn't fall out with my brother. I've never fallen out with him. Ask me if I fell out with my neighbor. No, I didn't fall out with my neighbor. Ask me if I fell out with my mother. Did you fall out with your mother? No, I didn't fall out with my mother. No, I didn't fall out with my father. I've never fallen out with anyone. Did you fall out with your friend John? Just to practice in the affirmative. Yes, I fell out with my friend John. We used to have a good relationship, but it went sour. Okay? The re- we lost the relationship. We fell out. Okay? Okay? Did you fall out with your friend? Yes, I fell out with my friend. It was very inf- unfortunate. Well, I'm going to fall out with the studio technicians unless I finish the show right now because they're saying, Kyle, you're out of time. If you don't finish now, we're going to fall out with you. There's going to be a major falling out here between you, Kyle, the the um, presenter, and us, the p- production people. So I'm going to finish. But thank you so much for listening. Tomorrow we will be back. Back for more. I'll be back. Will you be back? I hope so, because I'm looking forward to it already. Okay, I'll see you then. My name is Kyle, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.